combine campuses and colleges were denied the opportunity to get out of the blocks today on the first day of the 2015 Nagico Super 50 tournament in Trinidad and Tobago. Rain and wet conditions prevented any play in that game at Coover. Meanwhile, in the ongoing day-night encounter at Queen's Park Oval, the Windward Islands Volcanoes were moments ago struggling on 67 for 8 after 27 overs. We plan to Ghana Jaguars 227 for 6 of their 50 overs. Well, sent into bat after losing the toss, Rajendra Chandraka top scored with 52, Vishal Singh added 49, and Anthony Bramble 43 not out to lead the Jaguars. Shane Chillingford was the pick of the bowlers with 2 for 34. Here's a look at the Jaguars innings. Good shot. Way too short. Good shot. Yeah. He's got him, has he? Yes. Woo. Too short again. And that's going to be another boundary. Good delivery. That's not a bad shot. He's given him. He's got that fine. And should get four. He does. He's got that backward of square and it's going to go into the boundary. Oh, lovely shot. Shot of the day so far. He's got that behind point. Yeah. Gone fine. Gone for four. 50 coming up then for Shandrika. Yeah. Yes, this could be trouble. And he's run out. That's superbly timed. That's well struck for four. Good strike, that's four. Swung away now. And so said, so done. Short, just about middle. You gotta be kidding. You gotta, gotcha. you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. No surprises there. Shouldn't for it to continue. Gotcha. And Barnwell is extending arms, and he's picked out the fielder to perfection. Well judged catch there. Yes, he's run out. Made good contact on this occasion, and the man at long off can't get around. Going, going, gone. That's six. Going once, going twice. Sold to Anthony Bramble. Last ball. Going, going, gone. Sold again to Bramble for six. What a scintillating little knock. So Ghana realized 227 for six, Colin. Not a bad finish. And of course, you can follow that match on MCTV's ESPN channel. Well, Yellow Hosts were today dethroned as champions of the St. George Primary School's inter-host competition as Red Hosts were runaway winners with 401 points, led by Victor Sudorum, Donisha Moore. Green were second with 349 points as Victor Ludorum, Tristan Gill led their charge. Yellow were third with 271 points and Blue fourth with 294. CBC's Anne-Marie Burke reports. There was no denying that the little ones of St. George Primary were enjoying their sports there at the National Stadium. They were cheering on the school star athlete, Donisha Moore, who took command of the girls on the 13 400 meters. She was in cruise control. Having already won the day's first event, the Open 600 meters, she looked so comfortable crossing the line. So the rail battle was for a second. And with a last minute spurt of energy, Alicia Bascom powered past Khadija Applewhite to take second, Applewhite maintaining third. The boys on the 13 race was not as clear cut though. It was decided in the final 200 meters. Extending his tries to step past the field was Niran King. Red host with another victory. He was really giving it his all and easy does it. In second for green was Nicholas Hoyt, with red picking up more points through Joshua Webb in third. Let's take in some sprints now. On the nine girls, 80 meters, this was a mad dash for the finish, with Taisha Kamabash leading the way. Shatara Jones was right behind her, and in for third, Yellow Houses, Malikwa Cherbin. 
The boys on the night they were out like bullets too. But it came down to the wire to determine the winner. And it was Shaquan Bino to take it, Michael Gooden right there behind him, and Jamarian Malik in there for third. To the under sevens, they ran 50 meters, and it was a yellow house domination. Daquan Calendar first, Giovanni Bell in second, and Red Claim third with Emrick Beckles. To the turn of the little under seven girls. On the inside, Aisha Wood was wasting no time in dismissing the field. Right there with her was Cairo for red, and Blues' Janiyah Carter was third. And with the adrenaline pumping, little Aisha just continued running. We know how the little ones just love to be on the go. Mr. Morrell having to do some sprinting of his own to stop her. Nevertheless, that's the under seven girls champion, St. George Primary. Enjoy their sports day at the National Stadium. Anne Marie Burke, CBC Sports. Thanks, Anna Marie. Full of energy indeed. Well, Spring Memorial registered their third victory of the season in the Wabisco Schoolgirls Basketball Competition. Playing last evening against host Christchurch Foundation, they were comfortable winners by a 10 point margin. Spring Memorial in blue playing Christchurch Foundation. Catch and shoot by Tricia Phillips. Good to go. She had eight points. Shaquille Smith backed her up with eight as well. The offensive board, easy does it. The defense not interested. Foundation limited to just seven points in the first half. Painful to look at on paper. Tamara Trotman bangs in the two-pointer. Springer up by as much as 13 at the break. Kalia Smith among the contributors with eight points as well. And they're just cruising. Second half business now. Foundation looking for a way back into the contest. Mid-range jumper from Stefan Shepard. Count it. She had nine points. Shepard and Trotman taking it to the girls from Government Hill. Trotman with the steal. Gets to the basket and draws contact. That's a foul. Headed to the charity line now. And she makes one of the two attempts. Finish the game with a game high 10 points. And just to illustrate her confidence, fires this one from downtown Sugar. Oh yeah, she's in the zone. But Springer had just had too much down the stretch. Another bucket for Smith. And they would go on to defeat Christchurch Foundation 29 to 19. Well, the Golden State Warriors crushed the Miami Heat as Dwayne Wade sat out for the Heat with a hamstring injury. The league leading Warriors beat the Heat 104 to 89 for their eighth straight victory. The Warriors looking for their 15th straight win.